Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are y'all? How are y'all doing today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. The internet is working so far. Alan's taking a nap. Quixotic Fox, 15 months of subbing. Thank you so much, Alan. Chaos Shootco, 21 months of subbing. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have vowed to clean my desk during the stream today. If you don't hear from me, send a rescue team. Whew. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough stuff. Rough going. Rough going. I'm so glad you said it right. I don't know what I said right. It's it's rare when I say anything right. So, love the tropical leaves. It's the most green shirt I have. So I'm I'm repping I'm repping today. I have green shirt, green shorts, green trim shoes. Saint Patrick. Nice. Not Saint Patty. I I don't like yeah. Oh Miss G's. You don't say we say Saint Patrick's around here. So thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good morning, Tess. Yeah, I think I, I I've never done like one of those genealogy things. I don't know my uh, my my long term background, but I do know my name Dowdy comes from O'Dowd, the O'Dowds, the O'Dowd clan. So something like I'm something something Irish. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what? I just know the name comes from the O'Dowds. Dowdy's a way worse name, by the way. O'Dowd would be cool. Brad O'Dowd. I'd be down with that. I'd be down with that. Make the Chicago River Green again. Chicago Pin Show News. I'm out. My wife's working that weekend. I started looking yesterday. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, my wife's working the three day weekend of the three days of the Chicago Pin Show. I'm out. Sorry, Toby. Is that bothering you? Toby's trying to sleep. So yeah, I did get that one done yesterday, so it was not a positive experience. It was not, see, this is why I don't plan ahead, because then I just have to bring the sad news. Just make this, just make the sad news. All right, Momo, enjoy your lark. Exclamation point pen shows. I should do a pen show calendar, shouldn't I? Is there a bork poll? No one, uh, no one has set up a borking poll yet today will we see brad at pin show again yeah i'm gonna be in atlanta i i'm not ready to commit to the time but i'm trying friday uh to saturday the wife is not home but she is off today do with that information what you will so so there you go are any of the kids home no kids are home kids are all in school today although one of them's tried to come home already this morning but that's just how we that's just how we roll around here my pen arrived. I now have the ST DuPont Space Odyssey rocket ship and moon lander. Nice. I, maybe you did tell me that. For some reason, that's not the biggest surprise ever. So maybe I'm thinking I heard that. That's dope, though. That's awesome. That's a cool one. That That is that is a perfect Allen pen, if I've ever seen one. Hey, Murdoch. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Smand. We'll, we'll be showing the Smand. My Smand has accessories on it for today so far. So uh, we'll be doing that, uh, doing that momentarily. We're not gonna have a monster stream today. We're gonna play with my celebrate my 500th episode celebratory pin today. Um, is the plan? I almost pulled the trigger on Space Odyssey myself, but the IRS had first claim. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I think I got my taxes done. I gotta look at that. My nice man has. A, I'm not gonna sing that. I'll get that stuck in my head. Got a small bonus at work in order to grail pin, Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagare. Nice. Nice. Turns out the tail fins make it hard for a pen to fit in a pen case. That'll happen. Have you started using the dog's man yet? No. I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna switch the one out that I have here, but I might use it um, um and my, on my other desk. Anyone use a gravitas pen? I don't know. Has anyone here? Anyone specifically here from Ireland used a Gravitas pen before or possibly manufactured a Gravitas pen before? Ben Walsh Design has totally used a Gravitas pen before. <laughs> so Jason, Ben, Ben, Jason, <laughs> Ben, a.k.a. Mr. Gravitas Pens himself. Um, I'm a huge Gravitas pen fan. I, I wouldn't say this just because Ben's here. Um, I love the entry. I haven't used the pocket yet. Sarah's reviewed the large ones for the blog, which that's Sarah Inkwell Monster there. Um, um, 
the inter I mean the entry is just like one of my favorite pins period and it's like the least expensive pin Ben sells and it's just fantastic so I think we're I think regardless of whether Ben is in the room or not I think we've all had p positive experiences with gravitas that's my my unbiased opinion um, I would tell Ben if he sucked or not uh, to his face although he could probably kick my butt so so we'll see we'll see but yeah um, Figbuts reviews have size comparisons. Good. I have not tried the pocket yet. I will be trying the pocket well, one day. One day soon. But yeah, I dig them. I love the teal finish on Gravitas. The teal looks great. Um, we did the teal and the purple giveaway. <laughs> you're six foot odd. I'm five foot six. Yeah, you're also half my age. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing wrong with Gravitas is that it keeps making more than I need. Yeah, I like Ben's, um, again, I'm, I'm going to pretend he's not here when I say these types of things. I like Ben's level of experimentation and testing. Right. So, I guess I'm a for, former boxer. Yeah, we could probably have some like, yeah. You could settle down, Slumberland Studio. Man, woke up and chose violence this morning. Although, I guess I started it, didn't I? <laughs> I guess I started it. That's my bad. Is it a national holiday today in Ireland? <laughs> orange Cerakote coming soon. We have had orange pin conversations, Ben and I. I don't know what we're going to do. We're, we're dabbling. We're dabbling. We're going to do something. We're in a dabbling, uh, dabbling mode right now. So we'll see. We'll see. So... The poly pins look real nice. Yeah, that's kind of my style too. Like, I, I don't know. It's all my style. I like metal. I like acrylic. I like whatever weird materials, whatever weird materials you want to throw at me. Wooden pins, concrete pins that Ben makes. <laughs> Most people can take Brad. That's probably true. True. I, di I did. I did start it by with the Chicago news, but I tried. I tried. I was like, hey, what are those dates? Uh, when I saw the dates, I was like, yeah, that looks good. I was like, oh, man. So I asked my wife last night, and it was like, Pfft. I can't, uh, the kids aren't old enough to be at home for three, a three-day weekend by themselves, so. Almost, though, you know, almost, though. Unfortunately, Elizabeth's going to have her license here in, like, four months or so, five months. Good morning, Carol. Hey, I'm four foot nine, and I know that I can't find anyone taller than me, so only 10 years. <laughs> All right, before we get started today um, with this unboxing, I need to pour one out for a friend of mine. I need to pour one out. Narwhal Galen came yesterday. Nice. I'm enjoying that pen. It has a green ink in it, and it has him. So we got to pour one out for a friend today. Oh, I should probably set up my camera first. Sorry, I'm the worst. I was too excited to get... I haven't even opened this uh, opened this box yet. I'm too excited. Let's do the camera first. Tell her we'll babysit by Twitch stream. They'd probably be into that. All right. We got to pour one out for a friend today. All right, here we go. It's a sad day, chat. My standard nasal aspirator has met its maker I'm sorry chat I had to go down today it's been a good run unfortunately these things don't last forever and today I have to say goodbye rip <laughs> I was cleaning out <laughs> I was cleaning out my uh so you see what we're this is what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be filling we're gonna be filling this up. So I was cleaning out I was cleaning out a couple things. I had the syringe, I had the thing going and so I have two two booger suckers. This is the standard tip booger sucker, the unmodified. So I have another one that's cut off right here that's modified for the Japanese pins. Um yeah, this is a this is a little bit of a sketchy setup here. Not gonna lie. So um, I went to clean this one this morning, and it's just like psh, water everywhere. So there we go. 
Um, we'll have to order a new one. This one's lived a, a, a good life. But this is you when you get in those the Panatic brand booger suckers. I'll have to do. I still have those emails. I still have those emails. So this is the kind you want the silicone ones as opposed to just like the hard plastic ones. So these blue ones are more flexible, but they do break down. I mean, it lasted a while for two dollars or whatever this thing cost. It lasted probably a couple of years. So weld it back together. We could do that. So. So, yeah, this looks like it should be in Monsters, Inc. or something, you know. Maybe we'll keep it and draw some, put some googly eyes on it and keep it here uh, at the desk for creepiness. So, <laughs> so yeah, pour one out for my booger sucker. But we have a backup and we're going to order some more. So there you go. How do you clean cartridges? Let's do that. Let's talk about that. I was not going to do that on stream because it would be a mess. Chuckle stuff, 11 months of seven. Let's go. I will tell you. So I will show you. I will sort of show you. So what I do is you need a syringe. So you need a cartridge and you need a syringe. Yep. So you fill the syringe with water and no matter what ink, amount of ink you have in here, you basically just fill the syringe with water, put it in here and just shoot it through here and it pushes all the ink out just push it through again um let it clean out shake it out it's dead dead simple so so it is really really simple but yeah no matter what it is you just you need a uh twitch emote idea anthropomorphic booger sucker okay let's do this i need to i am uh i'm about to pay Pay the emote person, so these actually might be for real. I've seen, I've seen sketches. Let me, uh, let me write this down real quick. Let me write down the booger sucker. Does anyone got a pen? I hate making the first pen choice of the day. Anyone else struggle with that? Making the very, very first pen choice of the day. Emote. So I'm going to go ahead and get all 15, uh, 14 emote slots filled just straight up. Emote idea. And I need to take a picture of it to send to them because they're going to have no idea what this is. So we'll do like creepy booger sucker. But I got to do this while I'm thinking about it or it won't happen. I mean, have y'all met me? So... I didn't know it would come to me doing uh, pictures of booger suckers live on stream. But that's what we're doing, chat. This is how we do it. Can we get a gif of the talking booger sucker? We could probably do that. We should probably do a smand one. I did add a Toby Bork one to the list yesterday. Anything else while I'm thinking of it? I got all I got all the stuff we've been talking about. Anything new I need to think of? You know, we have all the winners and the rigged and the Toby emotes and some just generic emotes. I need you to reschedule the podcast. I have a meeting from 11 to 1 tomorrow. Rip. Well, this is like the absolute latest we can actually get the podcast done to like have time to do it this week it's already going to be like late in the afternoon for mike so no short answer long answer was no short answer is no also <clears throat> all right i like the booger suck booger suckers deserve their own emotes right that's how it should work that's trash all right you want to get into this while i have the um the camera swizzled around here unsub we wouldn't notice <laughs> i mean so many people download our podcast if one person unsubscribed we wouldn't even know i mean just so many people i am on one today i have not been in the irish whiskey this morning already i promise i promise i think i'm uh, i think i'm just anxious to get this pen open all right, let's uh, we'll save the booger sucker. Let's make a little little space here. All right, <clears throat> so box arrived yesterday. 
unfortunately in my mailbox. I would have rather it been at my porch. No post show stream manana? Definitely not. Thank you, uh, Pens Pencils Plus. A hundred percent. We are not having a post show stream tomorrow. It's really thrown my day for a loop, but we got to get it done. So, all right. Trying to figure out how to unbox this. There we go. Oh, I got a like an entire book. Well, that happened, chat. That happened. <clears throat> um, I did not know that was happening. That was an unplanned event. Um, let's set that to the side for the minute, but we'll talk about this later. I, I will tell you right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a, if I, I'm assuming it's a pin to give away, that will be on the blog, right? They deserve like that massive audience. <laughs> I'm a big deal, right? No. Um, yeah, it would deserve to be on the blog. Um, that kind of wrecked me already. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. All right. So here's the, the Elwood catalog. Uh, so, wow. I guess we should expect an Elwood giveaway soon on the blog. So there's Frank. Frank makes all the stuff. We're not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm, I want to see it. It's, this is a really nice in German. So this is the Pocket Master. I'll show you all the Pocket, the pocket Master uh, that I got. And then this is one of the full-size ones. So yeah, just a good uh, photos. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. I'm thinking my color is going to be somewhere around that color. We'll see. Oh, yeah, this is the tray I bought, I purchased from. When I ordered, I ordered uh, this third one here. Man. Y'all should, like, if y'all want to save your money, do not watch this stream today. Now's your warning. I mean, it's a little late. But when you open up a page and see something like that, avert your eyes. Just avert, avert. Why is that one swirly? Yeah. I'm okay if y'all leave. <laughs> I'm okay if y'all leave chat today. I do need the E for enabling image. Thanks, Frank. All right. Yeah, not safe for wallets. All right. So, what I did was let's let's give it its its full. Let's give it the full space here. Let's relocate. Relocate for now. So, I had been eyeing these I, a couple of years ago. Anthony from uh, UK Fountain Pens uh, mentioned these. Um, and I saw them and I was like, ah, that's, that's pretty cool. Like that is my aesthetic, my style just on that, on that research list, that permanent research list in my head that, Hey, I've heard of this. It looks interesting. I might want to look at it further. So then Anthony did a post of, uh, did a review. Um, it was like a year after he first mentioned it of the pocket master. And I was like, yeah, like I'm, I'm going to get one. So I went to go order the Pocket Master. I'll pull up the website when we're done here. And there's some like what we would call the entry level model. Just the full metal barrel Pocket Master. It's a small pocket pen as you can tell by the name and I'll show you here in a minute. And I was just going to order, I don't know if it was a uh, nickel version or stainless steel version. And they're, you know, like 300 and something dollars, three, 350. And I was like, I was all set. I was figuring out which one I'm going to buy. 
And then the 500th episode of the podcast happened. Along that time, Elwood started posting some Ebonite images on Instagram. And I was like, okay, I'm going to change everything I want to do and go for a real celebratory pin. The 500th episode uh, pin. We'll go back through this box, but we we're, we're going to get this pin out here. So, all right, we're, we're here. Thank you, Tony. So when I saw the, the Instagram image, we'll look at this stuff in a second. Huh, that's funny how it sticks on there. When I saw the Instagram image of the ebonite material, I was like, yep, yeah, that's what I want. It's like a tealy green uh, rod of ebonite. It is not orange. And to celebrate the anniversary of the podcast, I went with the full silver barrel. So like how would you how would you say like this is silver. It's not like silver plated. Like we look at our, our rhodium plated pens, our silver pens. Pens. This is like literal, like literal silver material. So it's ebonite and silver. Yeah. So sterling silver is what I just call it. Ster say this is a sterling silver pen. Um, it's got a great weight to it. Definitely use it posted. The. Um, Darkest shade of orange I've seen in a while. So yeah, I wanted to get something, you know, kind of bluish, tealish, and ebonite. So this is like polished ebonite, as opposed to I'll show you on the on the site the just the full metal models which you can get. So sterling communicates actual silver, not just metal color. Gotcha. So I'll have to read the description more and. So what I was going to buy was just the steel model with a steel nib. So I ended up getting a sterling silver metal gold nib ebonite barrel. So like I doubled, at least doubled the price of what I was intending to buy. Hmm. So there's an old cartridge that I won't be using. But that's good to just test it with. All right, so that's the full length of the pen. It's a little bit longer than like a Kaveco Sport, maybe a little bit longer than a Pocket 6. We'll have to do some comparisons later. And it's got all vertical um, ridges in the grip section, so like your grip is really tight on here. So all in all, this cost me a pretty penny. This cost me like right around $800. So... Um, but I, I justified it by saying this is my um, 500th episode celebration pen. So that's what we got here today. So yeah, it is really, really pretty. I was thinking I might have gotten too bright of blue. So I bought some ink samples in here we're going to test. I think I might want to go grab a couple more tealy greens here as options as opposed to maybe some bright blues. Yeah, totally worth it. Yeah, oh, the uh, the nib has the Elwood etching on here. Extra fine. Yeah, we're gonna ink it up. That's why I have the uh, syringe and the cartridge here, and we're gonna do some ink samples. I wanna go get some closer inks. I think I've already had a, a, a re-decision, a redesign of things. Oh, here's the differences. So this is the Pocket Master. This is the all steel one. And we can put up the um, website. It is a gold nib. Bakker Yovo, I don't know. Bring it to Atlanta along with my Conid Monarch. Could do that. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the, the, the long standard pen. And then this is the short one that I wanted. And this is like the style I was going to buy at first with the steel nib. That would have cost me like, 300 and something yeah so you could get it for like 245 euros so probably less than 300 dollars. that's what i was going for and then he i got instagrammed and then i justified it by saying hey it's the anniversary there's my my guarantee oh look pocket master 935 silver 
Ebonite U55, 18 karat gold nib, extra fine. Cool. That's pretty cool. It's got my whole uh it's got my whole thing down here. Ancient leather crafts. Thank you for the follow. So I want to go. I'll show you what I grabbed so far. So we have eroded bronze. We're gonna test these. I have Roaring Klingner Salix. Those are staying. Carolina Blue, I think is gonna be too bright. Um, along with Yomogi. So I was definitely going for a blue, but I'm gonna go get a little bit more of a greenish blue and then uh, Dominant Lake. KWZ IG Turquoise, I don't think I have any more of that. Shmevelin with the gifted subs, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Shmevelin, you're amazing. Um, so we're gonna keep the eroded bronze and the salix here. Then I'm gonna take away the brighter blues because this is definitely more of a tealy blue um, or more teal green on here. So Kujaku, I don't have Kujaku and someone said that yesterday. I have um, Sukiyo, which I'm gonna get and I'm gonna get uh, uh, Graf von Faber-Castell Deep Sea and uh, let me, I'll, I'm gonna check out a couple other ones. So. Hold that thought, because I, I want to do this right the first time. So, you vote eroded bronze. I mean, I think it might be the leader in the clubhouse, but we're gonna we're gonna see here. So, stare at that for two seconds. Let me go. Let me go swap out these inks real fast, and we'll figure out which one's going in here. Hang hang tight. Chair string. All right, I swapped out three inks for three inks. So, Sailor Yamadori. Hey, look, Toasty Treat. That came right to the top of my mind. Sukiyo and uh, Deep Sea Green. So, let's, yeah, Yamadori, I think is gonna be, once you said Kujaku, I thought Yamadori, because I, I knew I would have that. All right, so let me, Yamadori is one of my, probably like a top five all-timer. Okay, let me get a, I'm going to do some quick and dirty um, swabs just so I can kind of lay down the general color. I'm not going to do like dip nibs and ink testing and all that mess. Okay, so here's a sheet. Hang on, I'm going to take this call. It'll be quick.
So that was the groomer confirming his appointment, and then my wife came home, and he borked, so I unmuted just for legal reasons uh, for betting purposes. So there you go. And Brent, hoping to stop in the Atlanta show on Friday. I hope to be there. Oh, scrolling back up, my um, is there a significant improvement in writing quality, like expensive pens? No, there's not. That's why, like I, uh, you, there's no need to look at expensive pens. Then you're getting into more materials than performance, right? Like there is definitely diminishing returns. So yeah, like if you like your steel nib pens, stick with your steel nib pens. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some swatches on here. I can kind of look. Like I'm not trying to like perfectly match this. I'm trying to do give a good compliment. Actually, I would prefer not to like exactly match this, but we'll see. All right, so let's hit. So I got some blues and I got some blue greens. So like I said, I'm just gonna do some quick and dirty swabs just so I can kinda kind of see what we got here. Uh, I love my wife. Probably should have said that louder so she could hear me. All right, so this is a red or bronze. Ah, it's looking pretty good, chat. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So let's do Salix next. Wow, I've used a lot of this Salix. I'm gonna really get down there. All right, that's a good color. That will dry darker. That's a feature. This is an iron gall ink, which I don't mind using ever. Salix is gonna be too blue? Maybe. I mean, I'm already like in. Here, I'm already probably choosing a eroded bronze, right? Too blue? Yeah. So, like, a eroded bronze looks pretty sweet, right? Um, let's do Sukio next. A good complementary color would be that, that purple Edo ink, but I want to go with the blue-ish ink. At first, these Orochizuku sometimes sometimes lock it up. Maybe too blue as well. Yeah, that's going to be bluer than I thought. It's a good match, but... I, it's already not my favorite. Yeah, I don't know what it is with those Orochizuku bottles, and I use them all frequently, but it's just like, dang. That is the, the tightest bottle. All right, so this is the Deep Sea Green, Graphon Faber-Castell. This is probably going to be closer to that eroded bronze, I'm thinking. Ah, uh, look at that. That wasn't even very inky. I'm going to do a very inky one. Mmm. Chat. Mmm. A road of bronze keeps getting better and better as it dries. It's starting to have some purple come out. And the uh, last one, Yamadori. Would Chicago be a match? Chicago is probably too gray for this, right? That Robert Oster Chicago I tested yesterday. Do a thick. So that's Yamadori. All right, I'll let these dry for a second. 
Graphon, Faber Castell, Deep Sea Green doesn't flow super well. Might not be a great, great one to start with. Good point. It was, I mean, it was totally drier when I put down that swab, right? That's why I went back for a second shot. I know. I just used the Q-tips for ease of use this morning. I, 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 I understand, like, they're not the right solution the majority of the time. And I prefer not to use them, but I just want to get, uh, yeah, that Yamadori came out more blue than I thought. But I don't mind, like, so I have a, um, this has an extra fine gold nib on it, even if it is, it should flow from that pretty well. Robert Oster, Fire and Ice, wouldn't that be more, that's going to be closer to this color, right? I mean, I have that. You don't think it'll be too blue? I mean, so let's see. We're not going for complete perfect match. We're just going for, hey, this looks this is going to look really nice. Nice compliment. I mean, I think it's the Graphon Faber-Castell or the bronze, right? I thought Yamadori would be a little greener. Pole? Blue, black, I know. I know. I, th I thought about blue. Blue, black will go, will go second. Blue, black, blue, black will probably be the permanent resident. I'll throw these on here. Just um, these are yesterday's samples. I got one more swab. Just put black ink in it. I'm gonna ban you, Mafia Geek. What is the FC ink again? Uh, deep Sea. So this is. Chicago. Yeah, I don't know if I would enjoy, I worry, I do think about the dryness of that. I mean, a road of bronze is reasonably dry too, just as long as it flows well, right? This is muddy water. Whoa. That was a little wet, sorry. I was busy talking, I left the swab in there. Look how, look how Chicago and Rhoda Bronze, they kinda, they look, these are closer together in person. Like this looks way more green to y'all than it does to me. It actually looks very close to this, to me in person. What was this one? Oh, that's the uh, Sukiyo. I use Sukiyo in my uh, Namiki, so we'll probably just save that. Oh, decisions chat. Decisions. 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 Lami I almost grabbed Lamy Petrol. I thought it would be too dark. I'm gonna end up using just a regular blue-black ink in here, mostly. You know, just one of my favorites, you know, like a Shinkai or something like that. But I want to do it a little bit different. All right, so I think it's eroded bronze. You know what? We should do the German ink for the German pen. Because it's, it's probably like the kind of closest anyway. I think that's the decision. I hide it from the wife, email me. I, I think I have some. You know what? That's what we should probably do. And hopefully the flow's good. But hey, it's only a small cartridge. Like, I can deal with it for this much ink, right? Remember, this is a pocket pen. <laughs> yeah, this is the only one out of all these inks. I think the color looks good on for y'all, except this one. This one looks different in person than what than what y'all see. I think everything else is accurate. But yeah, I think we do the German ink for the German pen. No, the um the knock ones, the the head head buttons and the uh, fishing vest were some extra fine gold. So, it's probably not going to be too dry. 
this feels good. We'll just do a quick, we'll just do a quick view. What's the feed look like? Hang on one second, and I'll show you. God, that looks good. So I think we're gonna go with uh, with the and like I'm a, it should flow okay, right? Like shouldn't be any issue, I don't think. Yovo, cool. All right, I think we're doing it. I'm a fan of using a standard black ink as a first ink and a new to me pen allows me to compare and contrast to other pens. That's fair. Black is always, I have like a, I'll do like a dedicated pen for black. I'll say, this is my black pen ink. A lot of times it's like a Lamy Safari, just because I, I like that. Um, it would have to be kind of like a special event for me to choose black otherwise. Like I haven't inked up black. I have carbon black in my platinum desk pen. That's the only black I've had inked up for ages. All right. Um, Graphon Fabric Castell is the correct decision, I feel. No pull needed. I almost got, grabbed Mysterious Blue Mafia Geek. That could be the permanent resident in this pen. I almost grabbed that, but I didn't on purpose because I thought it would win. <laughs> Is that stupid of me? Because it's more of this. It's like this kind of color range. Maybe more like this. I think that's probably the long-term. Mysterious Blue is probably the long-term answer. Do you know why? Cartridges. They come in cartridges already. All right, so we're just gonna fill this cartridge. It does have some green once it dries. I think you're right, Mafia Geek. I think that's probably the long term. I, I do have certain pens that have like the only ink that they get. This won't be one of them, but it's gonna have some choices. So, <sighs> saw some silver shrapnel coming out of here. Hang on. Make sure it's good to go. Not that, that affects the ink or anything. All right, so there we go. Um, so yeah, just a you just want to do a syringe fill on your if you're refilling a cartridge. There will be another reveal on here momentarily once I get done with this. Whoops. I do go ahead and fill it up pretty high. So that was just a, a diamine, uh, diamine cartridge that I grabbed. My final price was around $800. Um, that's with the ebonite and the sterling silver. Right, so you could get different different barrel materials, sterling silver, ebonite, and gold nib. I got like all the upgrades. I should have grabbed the Shone Pocket Six. I think it's gonna be bigger. Oh yeah, oh, we nailed it, chat. Okay, hang on. Um, I can go grab. Do y'all want me to grab a Shone and a Kaveco real quick? But I think it's going to be bigger. It's definitely bigger than a Kaveco. I think it's going to be bigger than the Shone. Did you show off the giveaway pin? No. So we're going to do that. I did. Sorry, Namiki. Yeah. Who touts it as the shortest pin? Uh, Elwood? Maybe unposted. Posted, it's definitely not the shortest pin. Unposted, maybe there's an argument. Like unposted, it's pretty unposted. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't use it um, unposted. It's too short. Posted, I think it's bigger than both. Flow here is great, so no problems there.
Yeah, flow is definitely not an issue. I like how they, oh, does it say probably? Probably. <laughs> I mean, I should get out the, the, the spoke axle, the axle S. I need an axle. We'll do a comparison another day. I'll do an uh, axle S um, shown pocket six Caveco Sport. Um, yeah, it's a. I'm very, I'm very happy, very happy. It'll be interesting to regularly use a silver pen. Like I have the um, Yarda lead, so but I don't use it as much. It'll be interesting to see how this wears and patinas over the year, years. So there's a lot of room for patina around here. So it'll be interested to see uh, how it looks, especially with the amount of use I'm gonna have on it, I'm gonna give it. All right, so if you're late, um, we're not giving this away on stream chat. <laughs> so settle that down right now. I mean, I love y'all. I don't Elwood love y'all. I do have my limits. Uh, funny you can see the joy on my face when I'm writing. Yeah. All right. Um, so we'll um, let's open it up and see what we got. He did not tell me this was this was happening. So This isn't a regular one. <laughs> this is not a regular one, chat. This is not this is not a basic uh, model. <laughs> um, this is a full ebonite model. This grip section is ebonite. Okay, so this is an ultralight model. Is this the Ukraine model that he's doing? We need to get out the scale. Um, so this is an ultralight fully, I guess this is full ebonite. The grip has ridges, yeah. So the grip is ridged, but it's it's ebonite. So there's gonna be, there's a huge weight difference between this pen and my pen. There you go. Same, same design, complete design, but I think the full barrel is ebonite right so no, there's no metal parts yeah there's no metal parts at all on this right except the nib which has a medium steel black steel so yeah this is yeah this is stunning i'll, I'll get out the scale to show y'all yeah there's no metal no metal parts no like mine has a metal thread insert, a metal post, metal everything up front. This has no metal except for the nib. Olaf, no metal. All right, let me get the scale out. It's like an ultralight. This is like the ultimate pocket pin. This is like, this is the Kaveco uh, Sport uh, utilitarian model. That also costs a fortune. Yeah, this is wild. I haven't checked the batteries on here in a while. All right. I did warn y'all. So I don't know if he offers this model for sale. I haven't seen it, uh, to be honest. So we're, will this sit like, will this sit still? So that's 10.6 grams on this one. Don't see it on the site? Yeah. So compared to mine, 50 grams. Do y'all get that? 10 grams, 50 grams. That's the difference. It's a medium. Uh, number six nibs, number six Yovo nibs. So.
actually relieved it's not on the side. I might get in trouble. Yeah, I'll have to ask him how to describe this pin. Pentel P205 colors for China that you Seca. Ooh, nice. I'll be getting that. Is that lighter than a Kaveco Sport? Hang on, I have. I'll go get one. All right, I'm gonna go get some. I'll go get the comparison pin since I'm gonna get up and check the weights of some other pins. Hang on, hang tight, real quick. So I got a Kaveco Sport and a Pocket 6. We'll look, do the comparisons. I'm going to do the uh, – wait real quick. So it's like one gram heavier than a Kaveco Sport. No cartridge. These are empty, both empty, no cartridge, no ink. Pocket 6, we don't really care about the weight on this one, but it's pretty light. It's probably closer to 15 or 20. Yeah, 17, 17 grams. So – Length, length comparison. <laughs> All of a sudden, my pen didn't feel super heavy before. Now it feels super heavy, but I, I like it. Oh, we should do uncapped first. Yeah, Pocket 6 is still shorter, uncapped. I haven't used this one in a while. My patina is... is So pocket six is shorter. I mean, pocket six is shorter in the barrel, but longer posted. And then the sport's gonna be, I don't know, I'll post it and see. So that's the barrel sizes. Barrel sizes posted. 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 So it's shorter posted. I bet the axle's shorter than that, honestly. <laughs> and then the Ebonite goddess of pens. <laughs> that is too cool. So there you go. So there's a quick size comparison. Need to use this. Mm. Elwood section width width is good. Yeah. Miss B Al, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So yeah, we'll do something. Um, We'll do a giveaway on the uh, on the blog for uh, for this one. Wow, I had no idea what to expect, um, and it even like was more extreme than that. <laughs> so that was cool. All right, chat. Well, I feel like any giveaway I'm gonna do today is gonna be a letdown, but we'll do one anyway. Very nice, very expensive, yeah. Did, did, did y'all find anything on the full Ebonite model? Like, if it doesn't exist, right? Like, as a uh, as a product on the site? Is 
Is that, that the conclusion? All right, let me put this one back for, oh, look. Okay, I should read this. Pocket Master Duo. Oh, okay, it's Del, Blue Delrin, Blue Delrin, Yellow Ebonite, Steel Nib. There you go. Blue Delrin, Yellow Ebonite. Got it? I forgot the specs are right here on the card. So Blue Delrin, Yellow Ebonite. So very, very one of a kindy. Why do you have two? Because I bought one and then they gave me another one to give away. Yeah, the little connector end. It's like, this could go very wrong, like design wise, but I think they did it just right. Like it's it's really, really nice. It looks, it's additive to the pen, not just like a, a throwaway design. I, I think that's what I mean. That's one of the things that attracted me to this the most. Like it's a pretty unique style, even though it's kind of simple, but you could do this wrong and, and I would dislike it. So there we go. Blue Delrin, yellow ebonite. Delrin probably holds up better for posting in the screw. Good point. Yeah. Ben's Delrin designs look really, really good too. All right. So we're gonna put this back together and save that for the blog soon. Maybe we'll talk about it on the podcast this week. All right, so I'm gonna do a giveaway now and then we'll see what else uh, we wanna do. Something for your followers. We're gonna keep, we keep the, we're gonna keep the, that there. Where's my box? So then my box goes here. Got it, got it, good. Sorry, just looking at my ink sheet. I definitely like the ink that I picked. All right, all right. I gotta get to my keyboard. It was crazy, crazy, crazy generous. So thank you, Frank. I don't know if he ever will watch the, the YouTube uh, YouTube replay. All right, let me find something to give away. What can we do? Let me think German to give away. Do I have a Kaveco to give away? I gave away a Kaveco yesterday. Oh, this is a fun one. I should probably keep this pin. The pin he gave you could be the Ukraine one? Yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I do head full of ideas, but that's not happening. I love this pen. If this is what I think it is, I probably shouldn't give this away, but I'm going to. Because I just think it's cool. I'll just get me another one at some point. So I think this is going to be the Enzo ballpoint, the big one. That It's the metal barrel big style. And I think it's just a killer design. Hey, check that out. <laughs> Should I give this away now? I'm glad we checked before I gave it away. What do you think? <laughs> it's This is the new Enzo Invisi Invisibile. The new Enzo Invisibile. <laughs> Rip. Son of a gun. I was all excited about that pin too. <laughs> Son of a gun. We can do this one. We'll do a twist. 
No, no rap raffle's not on yet. The invisibile. Give that away. I'll give that away to the person who wins this. Okay. Whoever wins gets the tube I just threw across the room. Well, I didn't I said I didn't want to give away that pin, didn't I? So I said, yeah, do we hate Twisby now? Nah. It is a nice tube. I reuse those tubes. All right. Hopefully there is actually a pin in here. The sticker doesn't look like it's been broken, so I'm assuming it's still in here. So this is the Eco 1.1 stub. Is this the lavender purple? I'm gonna open this just after that last experience. I'm gonna go ahead and open this just to be sure. Are you now prevented from giving away a narwhal? That's pretty funny. Oh, Twisby, what hath thou done? All right, I'm gonna open this just because after last event, who knows? So sorry, whoever wins this, I'm, I'm opening your pen. It was a nice tube. Yeah, it would be funny if this was empty. So yeah, the winner will get this tube. While y'all are doing the raffle, I will go get the I will go get the tube. Yeah. Just making sure that's what you're getting. And it's got a 1.1 stub nib. Alright. Is this a standard eco? I think this is a standard eco, not an eco T, right? Eco. Standard eco. Alright. So um the one rule we have is you cannot copy the piston design here. So if you win this, you have to sign a document saying, I will not in the future copy this piston design. All right, that's the rules. If you are amenable to those rules, then you may enter this giveaway. All right. Proprietary. <laughs> Proprietary piston. All right, let me set this up. You're out. Copied it already. I know, right? Y'all got y'all got. We're rules followers around here. Do not copy the piston, or or just buy a normal. All right. Let's see. Twisby. Here we go. All right. Raffle is open. You type exclamation point raffle to enter. Anyone can enter. You don't have to be a follower, a subscriber. You don't have to live in the U.S. You just have to like pins. You have to be present to win because you have to say, hey, it's me when I pick your name. And uh, email me your shipping address uh, if you are selected. I'm going to go grab the tube because we'll give that away as well. Big, big winner today. Big winner today. It's going to be uh, Tessa again. Right? This is the most important giveaway item. Now i got to find the pin. So I was just saying how much I like the pin. I see you, Boss Baker, Qu Chris. Quiz. I'll write your name with my new Elwood. My new 50 gram Elwood. Test stitch, congrats in advance. <laughs> Two funnies. Two funnies. All right, you got about 30 seconds left. You're winning the Elwood, holding holding your entries for the Elwood. Ask Thunder Viking how it goes if you hold your entries. Zero. Zero. Even if you love, uh, entries have stopped. 
All right. All right. Pick a winner. Twisby. And <laughs> Invisib Invisibile. The Invisibile. Maradu, 77. Maradu. Maradu? Maradu? First time winner? Second time winner? Seems like I recognize the name. Hey! It's you. First time win? Or have you won, uh, won something before? Oh, Rewizzles, hang on and I'll tell you. So email me your shipping address to hello at penatic.com and I will write your name on here. Definitely no flow issues to report so far, Mafia Geek. Second time. That's what I was thinking. I was pretty certain I recognized the name. All right. So you got the Enzo Invisi, Invisible, Invisible, and the Twisby Eco coming your way sometime. It might be next week at this point. If I haven't shipped out your winnings, it's, oh, I have a bunch of stuff to ship. Everyone that won something earlier this week, I don't know if it's going to ship. If it doesn't ship today, it's going to be Monday. So, appreciate y'all's patience. All right. Um, let's have a livery discussion. So, Rewizzles asked, hey, what's wrong with that paint job? Inherently nothing, but the way the cars look is always a big deal, and it's like it's like a fun talking point, right? So, and the team I'm pulling for this year is that car, so it's the McLaren team because they're orange. I mean, that's not why, but they just happen to be orange. So I'm going to show you. what they went from it's not a good picture all right whoops all right so that's the new one let's hold that thought This kind of stupid thing. So they did do rankings of the liberties. So, God, they're not given the full. So it was very well respected livery, right? I'm trying to get a side view comparison. All right. So, I mean, like the colors and everything was great. The um, They have these new uh, wheel covers this year for the cars. And Google ended up sponsoring the team as of like yesterday. So now they have the little Android dude on the back and the, the Google Chrome tires or the Simon Says tires. Yeah, the Simon Says tires. I mean, it's going to be fine when it's on track. It's just less pretty <laughs> than it was before. Greg, that's how it happens. So anyway, it's not that big of a deal, but it went from like really, really sharp and everything's just kind of black and blue and, and papaya, as they say. Papaya is their official color. All right, here's some. So that was the before... And this is the after. And there's just those extra colors just don't, they don't go. Orange, that color of orange and that color of blue is difficult to match, right? And then you throw in Google's colors. It just kind of messed it up. So not a big deal. Just more of a joking thing. It's going to be fine. The wheels will actually probably look sweet. Um, the coolest wheels is this team right here. It's called Alfa Romeo. They have uh, Pokeball wheels. So how good is this? 
these are the best wheels on the track. So these wheel covers are new for this year. So these, um, they got Pokeball wheels and they're going to be dope. So anyway, it's going to be fun. Season starts tomorrow with uh, the races on Sunday, but the, all the pre-testing and qualifiers and stuff for tomorrow. Start tomorrow. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Race race day, race day, weekend is always a, like a three-day thing. So anyway, that's my long discussion of me saying, yay, Google sponsorship. I'm pro the sponsorship. The colors they're trying to mix in with what was a dope livery has kind of ruined it from an aesthetic perspective perspective but it doesn't matter some of these cars are really ugly some of them are just clean af and this one has gone from clean af to like vomituous so it's a little bit of a mess so we'll see oh no they have the um the android logo on the um on the um motor cover on the back the android logo has the biggest placement it's not just the wheels so All right, we're going to wrap it there today, Chad. I got stuff to do, um, places to go, people to see, pens to write with. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. You didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything. We talked about Google Chrome. Uh, um, all right, podcast tomorrow at noon, live. We'll, do, we'll have the live stream on, I think. Mike hasn't told me we're not having it on. I'll tell you all in the morning if I learn something different. Um, I'll, I'll check with him when I'm done. Um, but no post stream. I'll be, uh, I'm in a three day pickleball tournament starting tomorrow. So I'll be getting, uh, working on refill today and tomorrow trying to get it done for Saturday morning. I will get it done. Um, so y'all have a fresh issue to look forward to Saturday stream tomorrow. What's up in the pod tomorrow? Catching up on all the things. We will talk about Twisby and Narwhal. We'll talk about the Kuratoga dive from Jacob. That pen right there. Um, please be careful playing. That's why I've lost all this weight. So I am more healthy on the court. It's the goal. Um, 40 pounds down as of yesterday, chat. About another 20 to go. So we'll keep keep going. Keep riding that weight loss, chat. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Busy weekend for me. So I will get it, uh, I will get it done for y'all. Um, that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, thanks to Elwood for sending that extra pin that I certainly did not expect. That was that was that was cool. Didn't have to send that latest twenty to me. It's rough. It's rough. All right. Oh, we should. I'll I'll look real quick to see if there's someone quick I can throw it to. I'm not gonna spend like five five minutes trying to find someone like I did yesterday. There's someone easy I can toss it over to. We'll do that. Uh, one clum clumsy bats back. I hate doing the double, double thing. Sleepy Bird Arts paying Genshin. All right, and oh, let's see. You sexy man, I love that shirt. Dev, what's up, boss? I gotta get back in those streams. It's almost baseball season. I'll be back in there ASAP. You're the, you, hey, my shirt matches your car. I would look dope riding shotgun in your car. That's the move. And I just, I just found out I can't, I was going to be in Chicago, hopefully, uh, end of April, but I can't make it. I can't make it. Rip. R-I to the P. All right. I, 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 I. Who is this? Yeah, sorry if it is a bit hard to. All right, I can't. I can't focus. I don't have anyone to throw it to today. I don't have any throw. I don't have anyone to throw it to today. Let's just let's just wrap it. The amount of emotions I just had was wild. I wish I could. I yeah. I know. I was yesterday. I was talking about I need to make Chicago happen, and then I got the dates, and then I confirmed with my wife that she's working a three day weekend. The three day weekend I would need to be there. That's what happened. So we'll figure it out though. Chicago's the goat town. You're the goat. 
All right. See y'all.